Uh, my name is David Itumbi, uh, representing the family. Uh, we are very concerned. We were with Dennis yesterday night and uh, he had complained that he had some cold. So um, we had started to, uh, taking some medication and um, we feel that uh, um, whoever is uh, holding him, uh, wherever he is, I'm sure he, he, they are trying to, to hide him somewhere and we are suspecting a fall pain. Um, he's in pain and we, we, we would like to urge the government to produce it uh, or allow us as a family to at least give him drugs so that uh, it can relieve the pain he has uh, because he was complaining of headache, um, he had some uh, uh, some sore throat, and uh, he was also complaining of general uh, weakness uh, uh, in his body. So as a family, we are we are very distressed, and uh, we we urge uh, the government because the government has ways of finding uh, where he is to to tell us as uh, the family uh, where he is so that we can be able to deliver the drugs. Thank at you what, very much. So at what time did you learn of his disappearance? Uh, actually, I saw it on social media and uh, uh, a few friends uh, called me at around uh, 3, uh, 3, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, at that time, I was in office and I was working, so um, it, it really uh, disturbed uh, uh, my workflow and what I was doing. Thank you very much. Uh, Moses Chilanga is my name. I, today at about 3 p.m., I received a distress call from the family of uh, one Dennis Itumi, led by the brother David here, that uh, in the Ndigwa in Kiambu County, where he was having a, an air cut, he was abducted by three unknown persons and put into a white uh, Toyota car and whisked away to a known destination. The persons proceeded, led by the brother, to, made a, to make a, a report of a missing person in the Ndigwa police station. Thereafter, we were told that he's being held at Parklands Police Station, where we are now. We have come, we have talked to the OCS, we have gone to see the, the occurrence book. There is it's not been booked here. But as you can see, uh, uh, this, when you make a call, you can actually find that his phone is going through. Having made a report of a missing person, it is always imperative upon the government to find out where is this person is and they have all the capacity, they have all the technological know-how to find out. And as Mr. Mia uh, showing that his phone is going through and uh, it is uh, unfortunate that no one is telling us where he is. So it is incumbent upon the government to tell us where Dennis is being held, especially being told that at Kiambu and Tendikwa there was a police car nearby where he was being whisked away. So there is a reasonable inference by the family and the friends and people concerned that he is in the police custody. And this is not the first time Dennis is being arrested. He's been arrested so many times. And this is not the first time we've seen in this country there is enforced disappearances. We believe that either Dennis is, uh, is being uh, whisked away or is being his disappearance is enforced by the state and also even the recent occurrences. And also we have reason another belief that uh, being a long festive season, uh, people would want to hold him in custody for five days because the next court appearance is on 27th of uh, December. And if they are holding him to tell us where he is, the Inspector General of Police to tell us which police station is being held. Parklands are saying they are not holding him. Sindipa are saying they are not holding him. So any police station which is holding Dennis, please get in touch with the family so that they can give him the supplies as he said. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. I think as you are aware, we are at uh, the Parklands Police Station. And uh, because of uh, today happenings in the afternoon, where we believe that uh, the state agents uh, have facilitated the abduction of one Dennis in Dumbu, and uh, you are aware that uh, Dennis in Dumbu has always been for because of his time. He has always been for peace, justice, and democracy in the country. And uh, we believe because uh, we have uh, met the OCS so in charge of this police station. And he has confirmed to us that they are not holding uh, ladies here. But we believe this is just uh, cut and mouse games that they are trying to play. Because uh, the eyewitnesses can confirm that uh, the people who picked him, 
uh, we believe to be the state agents and uh, these are just enforced disappearances and these are just pure politics in a bit to intimidate Dennis uh, in Tumbi because uh, as you are aware they just want to punish him because they want to hold him for five days because uh, the festivities are on they just want to punish him and you know under the constitution and the law it is illegal to detain anybody arbitrary or uh, that is why it is sad that we are going back to dark days where we have detention without trial uh, and punishing somebody without the recourse of the law. So uh, we are aware that uh, according to the reliable sources uh, that the police are holding him and uh, they should be honest and we want to appeal to the CS in charge of interior and the uh, inspector general of police. Kenyans should know that anybody who opposes the government, the only thing that the IG and the CS in charge of interior will do is just to arrest you and intimidate you like the rest of us and uh, we believe it is a orchestrated move to intimidate people who have a specific uh, affiliation political and more so to the hustler nation and you know very well that Dennis Intumbi has been exposing the monkey business that the senior government officials have been doing uh, during this period so we believe this is a political uh, vendetta against Dennis Intumbi and we shall keep vigil and ensure that he uh, is produced. We want to challenge the government uh, that he must, they must produce Dennis uh, Itumbi by all means. And our lawyers, as you have heard, our lawyers are not uh, sleeping. We, we shall come and work with the family to work to every police station to ensure that uh, Dennis Itumbi uh, uh, is produced. And it is also shocking that, uh, as you have heard from the brother, that he is unwell. I wish these uh, abductors would produce him so that we can, the family can give him medical supplies. And, and there is no problem. Why is it that the police wanted to abduct him? You can nowadays, you can issue summonses. And uh, if they wanted, they, they thought Dennis had committed an offense under the law. Why did they issue summonses to appear before DCIO? So this country is not a banana republic where somebody just wakes up one day and decides to make the law. And those people who are in these government offices that run the apparatus of interior and homeland security should be put on notice that their time is coming up and Kenyans will make a decision. And I want to warn them that it is illegal to abduct anybody, it is illegal to detain anybody without trial, as per the constitution. And they might think now they have power. But in the next seven to eight months, I can assure them they will be they will serve their jail terms because you cannot violate the constitution and walk away scot free. That's why we have the constitution. If we didn't want to have the constitution, then we wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't have the constitution in place. So we really, and we want to call Kenyans of good uh, Kenyans that to pray for the family of Dennis Itumbi. We want to, we are keeping vigil. This should be a happy season, should be a Christmas. Dennis should be spending with his family. You can see the family members are here. And you know the sad thing, my brothers and sisters, is that they are using our taxpayers' money to frustrate and make us suffer. But uh, it is so sad, but, but, but we, we shall soldier on, we shall turn together. And this issue of punishing by the state of anybody who supports William Ruta must come to a stop. Everybody has a right to support whoever they want. Why is it that they are punishing Dennis in Tumbe because of supporting the deputy president, Dr. William Ruta? If they think, why don't they support their candidates without intimidating us? And as some of us no longer fear, they can use the bullet, they can use police station, they can create, and I want to ask them, because they want to arrest everybody that supports William Ruta, they should start building many, many police cells and prisons, because they will need to put millions and millions of Kenya inside, because if they believe that will stop the hustler nation movement. But Dennis, we want to tell you, wherever we, you, you are, we are praying for you, we, we shall keep vigil, and as a lawyer also, we shall work closely with a team and battery of lawyers to ensure that Dennis shall be released before the Christmas festivities. So thank you very much. Unless there is any other question. Uh, uh, Asante. 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 Just one Where now? Just uh, <coughs> don't move back. Oh. oh. Is that call, eh? Oh,